three times the Navy has looked toward the land of enchantment for the naming of its sophisticated attack submarines. Vital in the defense of our country, these subs are designed to seek and destroy enemy submarines and ships. On command, they can launch Tomahawk cruise missiles, which can carry conventional or nuclear warheads to faraway targets. These underwater vessels are also crucial in gathering intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance from locations all over the globe. It started in 1983 when Nancy Domenici, wife of longtime Senator Pete Domenici, broke a bottle of champagne during the christening of the USS Albuquerque. Over the next 32 years, it will travel more than 500,000 miles, be deployed on more than 15 missions, most of those lasting several months. During that time, it was based out of San Diego, but New Mexico would often do whatever it could to remind its 140-person crew of its namesake. Like in the year 2000, we were there when cooks from the Albuquerque restaurant Los Cuates went on board and prepared a true New Mexican meal complete with red and green chili burritos. I like hot food. The USS Albuquerque recently finished its last mission, but the Navy is far from finished with New Mexico. In 1992, there was the commissioning of the USS Santa Fe. It's based in Hawaii's Pearl Harbor. As one example of how New Mexico is proud of its namesake, in 2014, after a long six-month deployment, then Santa Fe Mayor David Cross and several city councilors were in Hawaii to welcome the crew home. Each sailor was presented with a bag of goodies from Santa Fe. Bullhead Park is another example of a connection we share with the Navy. A memorial for the USS Bullhead submarine which sunk in World War II with a crew of 84. Officers and crew of USS New Mexico, man our ship and bring her to life. In 2010, the $2.3 billion USS New Mexico was commissioned and remains in active service based out of Connecticut. On this day, the crew was told to embrace your namesake, the land of enchantment, featuring deserts, mesas, and snow-capped peaks. Joe Diaz, Action 7 News.